He's a big part of the team still, helping guys with film and just critiquing little details. So he's just been huge for the DB room especially. I'm sure that had to be a heartbreaking moment for him, knowing that he was going to be done for the year. What, what do you say to a guy like that, who you are so close to in, in the whatever days or moments even after an injury like that? <laughs> it's really kind of hard to say things to him because you know he wanted to finish the season. But really just trying to help him with the recovery and anything, anything we can do to help him, we're just trying to do. You've had your own injury things this year. Your hand's been in a... Uh, splint or whatever. What what has been going on there, and how have you battled through that? Uh, really, just fought with the guys, just continually. Coach Parker wouldn't put us on the field if we couldn't uh, maintain the level. So what he sees in us, we're just gonna just keep trying to do. Uh, you either hurt or you're injured, so you can play through it a little hurt. So it you know, is what it is. What about Nebraska's offense? Uh, they got a new quarterback. Um, how does that change things for you guys? Uh, really, something we've been going through this week. He does a lot of good things back there. So we're really gonna just keep running around, trying to make plays and play to perfect our game this week. Big plays, or you guys have really limited those. Is, do you feel like that that's been one of the best things you've done at safety is, is not allow those big plays? Oh yeah, for sure. It's one of the focuses that we've had, trying to limit the explosive plays, because explosive plays will help our team win or lose a game. So just trying to minimize those has obviously helped us throughout the season. I think you guys had 13 knockdown passes last week. What was the film like watching watching that? What did Coach Parker say about, about you guys being able to do that? Uh, he just liked the physicality, like going to swap through hands, putting hands up, like by the linebackers and D line, just getting those tip balls. Just uh, another chance to go make another play out there. What did he say about Quinn's uh, roughing the passer? Did he agree with that call? Or? <laughs> uh, he didn't agree too much on it, but nothing you can really do in that situation. So. I mean, does he say you got to do something different, like let up, or is it just like bad call or what? He said, I guess he can't hit him that hard. So. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it all Nebraska this week? Is there any looking forward, any looking ahead, or is it just straight? What do you know about those guys? Straight Nebraska. That's been the focus. Every week has just been the team we're playing that week, so we're just going to keep doing that. We've lost, lost so many key, key players throughout the season. You, you guys, does that come up when you're in the locker room? Time? It's just weird, the amount of players it seems. Like, particularly the guys who are going to play in the NFL. Is it is that ever, ever a topic when you guys talking about it? Uh, it's not too much of a topic. Obviously, it's tough to see guys go down like that, but it's just been the next pair and I think we've done a pretty good job there. What's 10 wins mean? Uh, it, means get a, there. it means a lot. Something we've been working through, been working for this whole year. And we have an opportunity to win so many games, so we're trying to maximize as many as we can. <laughs> Obviously, having Cooper go down, nobody wanted to see that. Um, defense still played well last week, but what are some of the ramifications of seeing a, a guy who's that good of a player, future NFL player, go down, and how does that affect the defense? Uh, it's kind of a tough blow, but we've had guys, young guys, been working and doing a bunch of work throughout the season, just getting better. So it's been the next man up, and B or Deshaun did a great job in the games earlier this season and this past week. So excited to see him step up. What does Deshaun do well? Uh, he's been really well at uh, mirroring receivers. He's physical with the hands, just finished really well. So something good to see. Another guy that's young that we've seen on the two deeps now is, is John Nestor. We've seen him a little bit in special teams, not so much uh, at corner or DB or anything like that. Can you tell us what you've seen from him in practice? Uh, Nestor, he's a great player. He's done a lot of learning this uh, through the season, but I see a lot of potential in him, kind of like a Riley Moss aspect of him, so it's exciting to see what he's going to do in these upcoming years. Is he as fast as Riley? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to see him side by side, but <laughs> he moves pretty well. Do you almost forget that Deshaun's name is Deshaun sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. Just lean comes off the tongue. <laughs>